welcome to another edition of the Monday Money Tip presented by I Was Broke, Now I'm Not. Hi friend, my name is Joseph Sangle and I'm the founder of I Was Broke, Now I'm Not. And I'm committed to help you win with your money so you can go do exactly what you've been put on earth to do. And today we're going to talk about one of our favorite topics, the second in a series of posts about teaching your kids about money. Our kids, we love them. They're beautiful. They're awesome. They're amazing. They're going to go places. But listen, if we don't teach them how to manage money well, they're only going to learn about money from TV commercials that say purchase more and from broke friends. So I think it's huge that we as parents teach our kids about money. And today I want to talk about something I've done with my children that I have found to be very successful, something that really helps them learn about money. And that is I pay them monthly. Now, many people might call this an allowance. Uh, But I don't call it an allowance. I call it teaching them about money. I'm going to spend money on my kids anyhow. Why don't I take that amount of money, put it in their hands, and build confidence in them and let them learn how to carry that weight of financial decision making so that they can make mistakes while they're still within our household and they can learn and have a softer fall than learning these mistakes and be out on their own. So pay them monthly. Let me tell you how to implement this process. Number one is your kids are going to make money mistakes. You know they will make money mistakes. And if you recognize that fact, do this within the household and implement this paying the monthly system. So what I do is I determine the monthly cost of food, entertainment, clothes, camp, stuff that they're going to do in the next year. And in fact, I have had my child, uh, my oldest one, go out and investigate the cost of food and entertainment, clothes, and camps. Now, let me unpack this. I don't mean the groceries. I mean, like, if they're going to go out with friends, um, entertainment, things like if they want to go out to movies with a friend, if they're going to buy stuff on iTunes, all their clothes they're going to buy, if they're going to attend a summer camp, I I make them investigate those costs, and I have them come to me and say, hey, this is the cost. This is what I think it's going to take. I don't just accept those numbers. Sometimes I've had budget cuts. And then we determine a monthly amount that we're going to pay them. And that's the third step is we pay them monthly. Now, I give them this money monthly, but I don't just give it to them. What I do is I conduct a review at the end of each month and say, how did you do with the money that we gave you? We gave you this money to manage. How did you do? And then we say, what went well? What needs to be fixed? And then what lessons can we learn? And then I require a written budget each month before I pay them again. So if it's the end of the month, I require them to give me a budget for the amount of money I'm going to give them. And then I approve the budget and then pay them that money. There are changes to their budget. Uh, Sometimes I give them feedback and it gives what I call an incredible teachable moment that allows me to say, child, you're beautiful. I love you. You look like your mother and we're all grateful for that. But here's what I need you to do. I need you to consider, you know, the fact that you're spending too much. There's hardly any savings in here. Or did you know you could save money on this area by going online and getting a coupon? It allows me to have these incredible teachable moments that I believe are positioning my children to prosper from day one when they enter the real world. I find it's appropriate to implement this somewhere between the ages of 14 and 16 years old. Uh, It depends upon the maturity of your child. And as a parent, you kind of know when your child is ready for this. I've, I've been wanting to do this for a long time with my children, but I found that that age of about 14 for my daughter was the earliest possible for her to be able to handle the magnitude and enormity of managing her own personal budget. But let me tell you something. It's changed the way that she manages money. And let me tell you, it's turned her into a saver even when she has a natural personality of being a spender. So I hope that this is helpful to you. I know it's been helpful in my life. And for me, it allows my cost for my child to be a fixed number instead of some random number and her constantly coming to me and saying, I want something. I'll finish with a story. My daughter, we had just implemented this and we were at a high school football game and she smelled popcorn and she said, man, that popcorn smells amazing. I want some. 
And I said, that's awesome. And then I just sat there. And she just, she looked at me rather strangely like, aren't you going to go get me some? And I'm like, uh, that's what your budget is for. That's what your money is for. And you know what? She decided she didn't want popcorn. Now, some of you might feel like I seemed like a mean father there, but I'm teaching her a valuable lesson that says just because you want something doesn't mean you act on that impulsively. And when you think about it and you think about the cost, sometimes it's just not worth it. My daughter that day determined it wasn't worth it. She didn't want it that bad that she would spend the money in her hands for it. And you know what? It's changed the way she manages money. I would say mission accomplished. Teach your child about money. You'll never regret it. Go to our website at IWasBrokeNowImNot.com. You'll get a lot more helpful tips and resources that can help you equip your child to win with money. I've written a book for high schoolers and 20-somethings that is focused on preventing money mistakes. It's called What Everyone Should Know About Money Before They Enter the Real World. We teach about student loans, credit scores, how to buy your first house, how to have a plan for your life. You can learn more at IWBNIN.com slash kids. Until next time, till next Monday, I am challenging you. Have a productive week. Go do something with your money and have that conversation with your kids. Get fired up.